Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw Pedro from Rio. We're going to start off by drawing a pear shape for his body. So his head will be here, and then his body will be here. So this is the general shape of Pedro, and we might make him a little fatter at the bottom over here. And his feet are going to be coming out from underneath his body here and here. He's very squat, so you don't really see his legs at all. He's sitting directly on his feet. And we're going to draw him um, with his arms over to the side like this and coming up over like this. So he's, I don't know, is he doing the samba? I don't know. He has a samba club, so maybe he's dancing. He's got lots of attitude, this guy. So here we have the general shape of Pedro, and we're gonna make sure also that we put this crest on the top, because he is a red-crested cardinal, I think. All right, so for our lovely friend, the red-crested cardinal, I'm just going to start off by making a bit of an X right here to help me place his eyes and his beak. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw one eye just above this X line that I've drawn. And you can see that I've made the X closer to the right side than the left. So this is going to be the spot where his beak starts. And it's also going to be the spot where his left eye starts. So he's got a human shaped eye. It's just going to be up and over like this and then under like this. And then we'll draw his brown eye pupil. And then bit of a shine there and then the dark center of his eye. So this will all be colored in. And then above his eye he's got some coloring that comes out to the side just like this and then goes up and over in a big U shape. And then we're going to see the tip of his beak coming up here and then over to the side like this. And his beak comes out under his face and then curves around to meet this other side. And his nostril is going to be right here. And now his mouth is open, so we're gonna draw that in just like this, open mouth, and then the bottom of his lower beak, so under and up, just like that. And now for his other eye, we're going to see the coloration again from the side of his eyeball and then down and we're gonna have a little bump here and we're gonna just see not the whole not the whole corner of this eye we're just gonna see the edge like this and then scooping under all right so now this is all gonna be colored in and we'll do his other eyeball here just like that all right so now for the top of his head we're going to draw a line that just comes over and connects up here and then we'll draw his cheek, which is going to just pop out a little bit here and come down toward his beak. And then right away, just as soon as his beak is over, we'll start his big belly. So it's just gonna come right around like this and down. I don't think you have to worry about making it too big. He's pretty chubby. And then we'll have the crest on the top that comes around like this and then we're going to imagine a line that was going to go like this and then down his back all the way under till we meet up with the first line we drew. Great! Now the next thing we have to do is figure out where the red is um, from his head because he is a red crusted cardinal and he's got a red neck and face. So then we have his wings that are gonna come out like this. It's almost like he has fingers. Like this. And then, I'll draw the line from the top here. And then underneath, we're gonna have feathers that go like this. All the way around till they meet up with these ones. And then we can see another little row of feathers just above that one. His arms are dark gray. And that's that. Great. Now we're gonna see this hand. He's got his arm, let's start off with the hand part. He's gonna have one feather pointing this way, one feather pointing this way, 
This one's going to come out more towards the side. And then this one, you're not really going to see much. It's going to be so thin. I'll just see the edge of it. And then we're going to have his arms scooping around like this. And over here, we're just going to see the bottoms of these feathers. So it'll be like this kind of a shape from the bottom of his left wing right side of the page but his left wing. So now we're going to show where his white belly separates from his gray. So that's just going to be right around here. And then on this side we'll do the same thing coming down towards his bottom. Great! And now for his feet we're going to have just a couple little toes with claws on the ends gotten lots of practice making bird feet lately because I've been doing lots of Rio characters for you guys. So when you draw a bird's foot, it's kind of just a big long toe with like a ball on the end with then a claw sticking out inside. And you can sometimes see all of them and you can sometimes not. So in, in this case we're just going to see uh, those two toes sticking out on the side. Okay, so there are some feathers that you might see sort of in his belly here. We don't draw, want to draw them all, but we'll draw a few to show. And then this is all going to be colored in, in dark gray. So I think we're probably done. I'm just going to erase right here so it looks like his wing is part of his body. And we're ready to do our outlining with our Sharpie marker. And I'm going to use fine line for all of these smaller lines and in and around his eyes. And I'm going to use my uh, uh, brush stroke tip Faber Castell pen to do my outlines, my darker outlines. So I'll do this in time lapse. You can watch along. So that's all of my lines drawn now for Pedro and I'm going to erase now all my sketch marks. Alright, now that all of my sketch marks have been erased, I'm ready to color him. And I'm going to start off with the red that goes around his face and what I'm going to do first is just some light shading and then I'm going to add some textural colors by changing up my color and using actually different colors inside the red area. I'll do this in time lapse. Alright, so that's it. This is how I draw Pedro from Rio. And I hope you drew him too. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I would love it if you would comment and rate and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are on Instagram, you can find me there too. You could post a picture of the Pedro that you drew and tag me in it so that I could see it too. Thanks for watching.